But yeah, and then we have a bunch of um, songs. I just like that this is just called YES! <laughs> Jamie's theme? Oh, Jammies. Okay. Oh, that's such a nice tune. Is a rotch? Okay, um, you spelled watch wrong. <laughs> this, the thing on your wrist is called a watch, not a rotch. How much effort did you guys put into this? Seriously. I mean, translation wise, not game data wise. Let, let's ignore that and just go translation wise. Did this not cross anybody's mind that? Throughout all the games before this, we kept calling it a watch, and now it's a rotch. What is a rotch? Is that even a word? <clears throat> this is after school. Yeah. Hmm. Ball constrictor. Ooh, that's nice. This is sleepy music? I guess so. I prefer sleepy music sped up, though. It sounded a whole lot better, and that was only because I was listening to that thing for like half an hour, and I got bored of it. Okay, so, um, once again, I'll do a quick review, I guess. Queen Wasp. Oh, okay. Um, so if anything, again, it might just be my GameCube or it might be my game disc, but we can't complete this, so, can't give, give a really good review, but... <clears throat> If anything, this game was unique, frustrating due to the camera. Um, they needed an AI bot or some kind of um, just uh, what are those guys called? CPU? No, no. Um, uh, I can't remember what they're called. Just you know those characters that just walk around and randomly tell you stuff, right? The, the, their titles aren't coming to my head, but they needed at least one of those guys there saying, um, I lost a roll battle, but then I leveled, I leveled up my metal and it became stronger. Something to tell you that levels are worth the effort in this game. Because before, I just kind of thought it played out like um, AX or um, the regular Metabot game, where the levels were very hard to see. It was very hard to see what would, what the actual benefits were. You didn't really see a lot of benefits and you know what, if I'm gonna talk about this stuff, I'm gonna play some better music here. Uh, let's see here. Escape? Yeah, okay, let's just stick with this one for now. Um, but... You know, you need, need something to say. Like, this, they could've put something here and said that, you know, um, leveling up your metal will increase its strength, its defensive capabilities. Because all they really put here was increase your metal's uh, level to increase the slashing range or um, the punt the hammer combos, which took up to level 40. Which I don't know what kind of. I beat the game before I was even near there. Like I was 10 levels behind, and then it took a while to get there before I got my first combo, so they really need to downgrade that one to like level 15 or something. <clears throat> um, let's see, the other thing is, yeah, like, um, it actually 
increasing your metals level, whether or not you guys saw it or not, it actually inc increased your defensive capabilities. Because before, I would have gotten. Because some metabots, when you, they defended, they actually got pushed back by some of my attacks. So if you increase your level, you you um, decrease the knockback range or nullify it. That's the, cat, that's the thing they need to get through. Let's see, sorcery? This doesn't really sound like sorcery to me. Like, I don't know. Merry go round. Ah, oh, God. Christmas music. Go away. I don't like you. I don't like scan. This is called Marvel, huh? Okay. I don't think I've ever heard this one, so let's keep this one in for a bit. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> As per the variety of metabots, um... It wasn't as much as what was there in the uh, Metabi and Rakusho version. There was about the same number of Metabots in this game as AX, as the AX versions, I think. And there was about um, 30 different Metabots. I think there's maybe about 22 or something here. Um, I don't think there were 30 Metabots in this version, in Metabots Infinity here. Boxer! So so. This is not what fragile sounds like. Oh hey, everybody's theme. Okay, let's stick with Jaxie's theme here. Uh, let me see what. Else. Where was I? Oh yeah. Um. So yeah, there weren't as many metabots here. Um. I will give them thanks for putting in Black Beetle though. Black Beetle was part of the Metabot Spirit series. She's more of an original Metabot, I think. Um, I don't really know wh what other game she was in. Probably one of the Japanese versions, which I, I have no idea about. Um, but yeah, as far as I know, there were a couple Metabots in this one that were just brand new from what America had seen, except for maybe from the show. And so, kudos to getting the animations and everything for these guys. Let's see. Oh, and also kudos for actually getting a gravity type metabot for the females. Because I don't think there was ever a gravity type metabot, as far as I can remember, for the females. There wasn't one in metabots, Rakusho, or Metabi, or the AX series, I don't think. Yeah, no, there was just a bomb one. <clears throat> I don't think there there was a laser one either. There's a. Um, I still have yet to see a female metabot with wheels. I don't know why. There's just no female metabot with wheels. It's not that big of a deal. I'm just saying. There's there's just no no female metabot with wheels or a tank feet. Wait, no, there's a tank feet. What am I saying, Snow Bro? Um. Yeah, I think the one with wheels is the only one they're missing. They got a gravity one, they got a flying one, got plenty with two legs. Oh, they don't have a mountain female either. Oh well. What is this thing? Oh, Slug Corpse. Are you there? Okay, whatever. Um, let me see. Yeah, okay, so I talked about the metabots, the metals, that thing. Um, yeah, so as for the controls here, um, I don't mind the whole switching between your head and arms with the C stick. That was actually fairly good. Uh, defending with Y, charging the metaphors, pretty good. Um, do I don't know what X could have done. Um, I didn't mind the whole camera moving around to kind of help in certain situations. I just hate the fact that 
there are times when you want the camera above you. Actually, more or less, you always want the camera above you so that you can see all around you. And then for some reason, the camera just goes on level with you and there's like something blocking your view. Or you don't see the ground and there's a pit hole behind under you and you just fall. So the camera was a pretty big issue as I've mentioned a couple more than once on many occasions. And that was also in a review that other people did complain about the camera. Um, let me think here. Yeah. As per the earlier levels, um, and by the earlier levels, I mean like some of the earlier levels where it, you just usually used Metabee. Um, kudos to them for, you know, ha giving you motivation to use other Metabots, such as going back in there with um, Rox's Meta parts or like a hammer, a sword, other things to kind of play around with in those earlier areas. Uh, excuse me. Um, the one, the things I think they should have done though when they were making this game was instead of having the bonus areas be the restrictions, it should have been just do it once and then free for all. Like you can choose whatever legs you want. Because there's just a couple places where there's experience that you cannot get to with those restrictions, and I kind of feel like if those bonus areas were kind of through and at the last minute, nobody really bothered to check them. But again, that could just be my game. But I mean, in the earlier levels, they should have um, put the requirements on earlier, such as you know having um, Dr. Tune or um, Dr. Haru give you um, say that you should try out these legs, give you the meta part, and say trying out C type, um, multi legs, wheels, flying. They only really made you use flying and C types, and I would say anti gravity, but that was more for uh, Saladron, so I don't really count her. That was just a one time thing. I didn't say uh, anti gravity specifically. So, <clears throat> I think they should have done that. Like, you know, given everybody a taste of what every everything else can offer, because we usually just, most players would probably just stick with Metabi, just go all the way, just always use two leg Metabots, because that's what I usually do, just stick with two leg Metabots. And if, and if need be, I just switch to the C legs. And, <clears throat> there weren't really a lot of times when they made you not just Makey, but they didn't. There was no real reason for you to try out any of those, so I kind of think they should have put those early restrictions on. Because when I tried those multi legs on in the bonus area, I was just fascinated. Like, I could strafe, and that was really neat, actually. But that was a problem. I only found out at the very end. And the wheels, you just go super fast, and. Uh, yeah. You go super fast with them. Um, Kind of hard to control, hard to turn, can't make sharp turns. But I mean, like, you know, kind of just experiment with these things at the very beginning. That's what they should have kind of forced players to do. Um, the other thing, sorry, so the next thing would be um, their gimmick with the rubber robos. Um, <clears throat> the idea was good, having to lead the rubber robos to the drawer. I kind of think they should have had something saying that by the, one of the robo robos saying, "By the way, we can only turn one way" or something like that. Like, you know, because when I first saw them, I just kept shooting the crap out of them. Thought that's what we're supposed to do. I kind of think we have to lead them to the door, but nobody told me that they do um, a 270 turn and then start walking forward. You know, that where was that information? Like, sure, trial and error, but I mean, for for the for the younger players who just want to move forward, someone should have given them instructions on how the rubber rolls work. And also the fact that it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense on why the rubber robos themselves were in there. I mean, why are there humans in that area? It'd make more sense just to have him be, you know, just 
you you just roll battle with him like you know get to the end roll battle with him just just do that kind of thing because if memory serves I read a line where it says that they stole uh, meta parts or one meta parts off of the weaker meta fighters or something but when you get into that kind of situation where you're in there and all you're doing is shooting the rubber robo and getting him to the door it just doesn't add up like what the heck did they just say I'm frustrated just I'll give you my meta part just leave me the crap alone it just doesn't make sense